When the time will come for your customer to get their racket strung, you will need to help them make the right choice when selecting the string. But with the different types of strings on the market, some customers may feel overwhelmed by the different technologies. This training will shed some light on a very important accessory in your customer's game. Your customer may have invested a little or a lot of time in choosing their racket. In order for them to get the best performance out of it, one must remember that the racket is the sum of the frame and its strings. The latter will therefore influence the performance of the racket and the game. Different characteristics are looked for in string selection, including power, comfort, durability, control, tension maintenance, and spin on the ball. Although there is no magic recipe for obtaining the ideal string, various factors will influence its behavior, namely the materials used in its fabrication, the type of construction, the gauge of the string chosen, and the tension that will be applied. The main raw materials for making racket strings are natural gut, polyurethane, polyamide, and polyester. These materials are used to create the two categories of strings, natural gut and synthetic. Natural gut is more expensive than synthetic and has been around since 1870 when Pierre Babola created his first string from sheep intestines. Nowadays, natural gut is made with the healthy intestines of two cows. The natural gut structure gives it exceptional elasticity compared to the synthetic string, which translates into power, comfort, tension maintenance, and excellent feel for the player. However, on the downside, the durability will take a toll. As for synthetic strings, different options are available. We will find multifilament, wraps, and polyester monofilament. Multifilament string is a combination of fibers of different materials, more or less elastic, namely polyamide and polyester, which are then wrapped with a more resistant material. The advantages of this type of string are that it allows for good power, comfort, and it allows for good tension maintenance. This string, which is the closest to natural gut, is therefore a good compromise and above all, less expensive than natural gut. In the inconvenience column, it is its lower durability that stands out. Wraps or polyamide strings consist of a nylon core surrounded by one or more wraps. These are intended to protect the core fiber, increase elasticity, and decrease the loss of tension in the nylon. Polyamide, which is simply a flexible plastic, has the opposite effect of polyester, that is, the more the fiber is stretched, the stiffer it becomes. The advantages of this type of string are that they allow good comfort, good power, good durability, and maintenance of tension. However, if we compare them to the other two synthetic types, they are less durable than monofilament and less elastic than multifilament. The 100% polyester string consists of polyester pellets melted and extruded into a single filament and covered with a thin shell. This type of string is rigid and strong. Copolyester string, also known as copoly, is made of a polyester pellet of different chemical structure with elements added to make the string react differently at impact depending on the player's needs. The goal is to overcome certain inconveniences of the 100% polyester string, namely the rigidity and loss of tension. 
The textured string, on the other hand, gives more bite, adding spin to the ball. The advantages of polyester strings are durability, spin on the ball, and control. In the inconvenience column, monofilament strings transfer more vibration and shock to the racket than multifilament string. So it is not recommended for beginners, young players, and players who experience pain in the forearm. We can also add to this column the loss of power and the loss of tension. Wraps and multifilament strings are often used in hybrid stringing. However, different combinations of strings can be used. Hybrid strings use different strings for the mains and crosses. What you should know is that the mains and crosses each have a different role in string performance. Mains will influence the spin of the ball and durability, while crosses will affect power and comfort. The advantage of hybrid stringing is that it allows for better durability. In addition, the advantages of each type of strings reduces their individual disadvantages in addition to allowing many combinations between them to meet the needs of the players. Now let's move on to the gauge. The gauge is the diameter of the string and can vary in tennis between 15 and 18 in American measurement or from 1.43 millimeters to 1.10 millimeters in international measurement with half points identified by the letter L in the American measurement. What you need to remember is that the lower the number, the thicker the string. A 15 L gauge will be thinner than a 15, but thicker than a 16 gauge. The gauge can sometimes be an element neglected by players, whereas it can have an important influence on the feel of the game. Thin strings are often more flexible and pleasant to play, but their lifespan is limited because they break more easily. Conversely, thicker strings are harder and stronger, but lose power and control, among other things. In tennis, there are three main factors players generally consider when choosing a string gauge. Durability, spin, and feel. When you compare different gauges for the same string, the thicker the gauge, the more durable the string. The important thing to understand is that friction occurs at the cross sections where the strings overlap. Over time, the strings cut into each other and start to unravel. So naturally, the thicker they are, the longer they last. However, durability will be influenced by other factors, including the material, construction, tension, and density of the string pattern. Beyond durability, players also rely on string gauge to influence their potential to generate spin. Spin is one of the most important factors when it comes to ball control in the world of tennis. The thinner the string, the greater the potential for rotation, while the thicker the string, the less important it is. Thinner strings sink deeper into the ball and therefore grab the ball, resulting in more spin. Thicker string has less bite, which reduces the potential for spin. Different gauges will offer different feels. Thinner strings will tend to provide more feel to the ball when hit, which can sometimes help players gain more control over their game. For many players, string tension is an overlooked aspect of their tennis racket. The indication for recommended tension ranges can often be found at the throat of the racket on the inside. For the most part, tensions will start as low as 18.14 kilograms or 40 pounds and end around 30.84 kilograms or 68 pounds. If the customer is getting their racket strung for the first time, and they're not sure what tension they would like, suggest that they start with a tension that is right in the middle of the manufacturer's recommendation. In terms of tension, the higher it is, the more control the player will have when hitting the ball, but less power will be released from it. Conversely, less tension on the string means that the player will have less control over their shot, but they will have more power. 
Think of it as a trampoline. If you jump on a trampoline, you will have height, but keeping the center will be more difficult. Conversely, if you take the same momentum on the floor, you will not get as high, but you will fall back to the same place. Your customer may not be playing in the professional ranks and they are probably not well known, but that does not stop them from wanting to excel. To do that, yes, they will need the right technique, but they will also need the right information. With your advice, you can make a difference in their game and possibly help them win their cup.